you might think about simplifying the expression 2 plus 3 times 5 in two ways. Note there are two operations here, addition and multiplication, and so you have to make a decision about which of those operations to perform first. You could add first 2 plus 3 times 5, adding the 2 plus 3 first, you would get 5 times 5, and that's 25, but that's incorrect. If, on the other hand, you multiply first, 3 times 5 is 15, 2 plus 15 is 17, and that's correct. So the order in which you perform operations is important. Both results may seem sensible, but only the second result is considered correct. This is because the second way uses the order of operations that mathematicians have agreed to follow. Always use the following order of operations. Take note, key concept, order of operations. Step one, perform any operation or operations inside grouping symbols. Grouping symbols include parentheses and brackets. A fraction bar also acts as a grouping symbol. Step two, simplify powers. So look for exponents and simplify those powers. Step three, multiply and divide from left to right. So you'll seek out multiplication and division in the expression as you work from left to right in the same direction we read in English. And finally, step four, perform addition and subtraction, again from left to right. Problem two, simplifying a numerical expression. What is the simplified form of each expression? Part A, the difference of six and two, so six minus two in parentheses, cubed, divided by two. So we have three operations and grouping symbols. We have subtraction, we have an exponent or a power, and we also have division. So first we'll subtract inside the parentheses or perform the work inside of grouping symbols. Six minus two is four, and so we rewrite the expression now as four cubed divided by two. Next we simplify the power. Four cubed is 64, and rewrite the expression 64 divided by 2 as we work down the page. 64 divided by 2, only one operation left, that's division, and 64 divided by 2 is 32. Part B. A fraction, 2 to the fourth power minus 1 is the numerator, and 5 is the denominator. First, we'll simplify the power. 2 to the fourth power is 16. Remember, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we rewrite the expression now as 16 minus 1 over 5. 16 minus 1 will perform the subtraction. That's 15. And rewrite the expression 15 over 5. Now we're down to one operation. Remember, a fraction bar is just a division sign written in a different format. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Your turn. What is the simplified form of each expression? Part A, five times seven, note the use of the multiplication dot, minus four squared divided by two. Part B, 12 minus 25 divided by five. And part C, a fraction with four plus three to the fourth power as the numerator, and seven minus two as the denominator. Remember to use the order of operations as you complete each of these items. And part D, a reasoning item. How does a fraction bar act as a grouping symbol? Explain.